Can I handle or reverse what was reversed? Number one, handle household wickedness. Listen to me very well. I'll quote the Bible and I'll say it the way it is. The Bible is very clear. The enemy without, meaning enemies outside your house and your family, are powerless minus the enemy within. Are you listening to me? The problems we all have emanate from our household family lineage. That's where all the problems are, according to the Bible. Two best friends eating together, sharing secrets, sleeping together in the same bedroom, working together, doing the same thing. One was evil, the other one was, one was naive. If you are lazy to pray at midnight, evil people will have it easy to reverse and steal your destiny. If you are lazy to pray at midnight. Listen to me, you cannot be a powerful person in ministry and in life if you like sleeping at midnight. You are a business person and you snore at midnight. You don't love yourself. From today, please, you want to see a tangible change of your life. Stop sleeping at midnight. Change your sleep pattern. Start sleeping at 20 hours. 23, 30, wake up. We begin to pray. Your life will change. It will never be the same. I said your life will, will change. It will never be the same. Many today have lost their destinies because they were sleeping. They were sleeping. It's dangerous to sleep at midnight. Listen to what happened in 1 Kings 3 verse 16 to 18. Then came two women, friends, that were harlots doing the same thing, unto the king and stood before him. At least they went to God in prayer. And one woman said, O oh Lord, I am the woman who dwell in the one house with this woman. I was delivered of a child, and three days later, my friend also delivered. It came to pass that while I slept, hallelujah, and that this woman was a devil, and they were, listen to me, they were no strangers in that house. It was two women, friends. And there was no stranger with us in the house, save the two of us. One point I want to bring to you is that all reversal transactions of destinies, they happen in families. They happen in household families. Is everybody listening to me? Do not look far. Sometimes our parents, they do things because they think it's the right thing, but it's an exchange. Am I communicating? Who am I talking to? When you are born, the Christianity we are talking about is about 20 years, 25 years old. So before then, when somebody is born, they will do endembo. It was normal, tradition. But tradition itself is what reverses your, your, de your glorious destiny. They mean well, but it's wrong. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Yes, so if you are growing up with a reverse transaction in your life, you experience rejection. You experience delay and frustration. Forgive your parents because they didn't know, but you know you need to undo what was done. It's time to undo them. Am I communicating? Is everybody listening to me? I'm preaching from the Bible and it is correct. Matthew 10, 21. And the brother shall rise up against the brother to death, household wickedness. And the father to the child. And the children will rise up against their parents cause, cause them to put to death. This is a practical demonstration of household wickedness. It's Jesus who said it. Have you heard what I'm saying? Household wickedness is real. Psalm 41 verse 9, Hear mine, my own family. This is David who's saying, my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, which did eat with me bread, has lifted up their heel against me. Household wickedness. How can I reverse household wickedness? How can I reverse what was done in the dark? Household wickedness is real. Handle it. Handle it. You go to somebody and you give them your ideas and then they reverse it. How can your enemy give you a prayer point? And God answers. They'll, 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 the issue is this. They will give you a wrong prayer point. If your prayer partner is your enemy, you are in trouble. Your enemy is your prayer partner. Sister, brother, I agree with you. You are in trouble. The prayer you must pray every day. Father, in my workplace, 
among my friends, among my family, anybody who is not of God, show me and he will show you. You want to get married. Has God spoken something about the person you want to marry? You marry from the devil's family and the devil becomes your father-in-law. How? How? Before you get married, sisters and women, ask, this family I'm marrying into, the man I'm marrying into, the woman I'm marrying into, is this the right thing to do? Am I communicating? Are you seeing what I'm saying? Patterns, patterns. Don't say I'm born again. You came from that family. You came from that family. So we are here to change things in our family. If you are here, lift up your voice. Say, Father, Father. deliver my family from household wickedness.